Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am explaining practice questions from chapter E and M, Evaluation and Management, where MDM is not directly given. So as you all know, until 2023, in order to select level of E and M, there were three factors. Three factors were considered, which are history, examination, as well as medical decision making or a MDM. Okay, but from 2023, 2023 update, history and examination need not consider. Okay, currently, in order to select the level of evaluation and management, we need to consider only one factor that is MDM or complexity of medical decision making. Okay, so in our CPC exam questions, we have questions where the MDM is not directly given. Okay, from the question, by considering many factors, you have to identify the type of MDM. Okay, in some questions, they used to directly give MDM as uh, medical decision making as of low complexity or straightforward complexity. In such case, it is very easy and simple. But in majority of the questions, they won't directly give the complexity of MDM. Instead, you have to find out the type of MDM or the complexity of MDM from the MDM table. We can't neglect this. This is not very easy. But at the same time, you can't neglect it because we have six, que six questions from e and M chapter as well as 10 questions from case studies. Okay, combining this 10 and 6 out of 16, there are even 7 to up to 7 questions where we need to find the MDM uh, from the question. So, 7 questions out of 100 questions where 70 is your pass mark is not a simple thing. So, you should not eliminate this MDM type question. Okay. So, in this video, I am explaining such practice questions where MDM is not directly given in the question. And you need to identify it from the questions after considering so many elements. Okay. For answering all the questions that I have explain in the coming slides you need to first take your e and m uh, cpt textbook e and m chapter there you have a table one levels of medical decision making or mdm you have to open that table and uh, after that you need to read the question and identify it from the table okay i am explaining the questions only the detailed explanation of table will be in the website i have uploaded it in the website uh, for link i will give in the description box as well as comment section so if you want to know the detailed explanation about the table and elements of medical decision making please go and check the website here i am explaining the questions only so coming to the first question mr mark visited his primary physician for regular checkup and his doctor after reviewing his blood reports advised him to completely avoid his consumption of sugar-rich diet as he was a well-known diabetic patient for the past years also the physician ordered hba1c blood test how would you report his visit so whenever you get a question like this i have already told you first open the textbook take the mdm table okay so in the mdm table you can see three elements of uh, medical decision making the first one is number and complexity of problems at rest at the encounter second element is amount and or, or complexity of data to be reviewed and analyzed third element is risk of complications and or, or morbidity of mortality of patient management these are the headings of the table you can see that okay so these are the three elements uh, from which you need to decide it comes under which level of mdm okay so First, check the first element that is number and complexity of problem uh, addressed at the encounter. I have explained each content of the uh, each element in the website. Okay, here I am not explaining such detail. So, this number and complexity of the problem addressed at the encounter, I will call from now onwards it as a problem table. Okay, so what all things you have to consider in the problem table? What all are the problems of the patient? What all are the uh, complaints of the patient or what are the diagnosis made by the physician all such problems will be seen in this problem table okay 
so in this question what is the problem the problem is the patient is a diabetic that is the only problem that is mentioning in this uh, question so a diabetic patient well known diabetic patient for the past few years means it is a chronic condition and in this question uh, there is no mentioning about the worsening of the condition therefore it is a stable chronic condition okay so we have got one stable chronic condition then you see the problem table and identify this one stable chronic condition comes under which section uh, in minimal or low or moderate or high then you can identify as one stable chronic illness comes under low of the problem table okay then you just mark problem table you got low then move to data table in data table data table is the second table its heading in the book is amount and or complexity of data to be reviewed and analyzed i'll call it as data table okay in data table what all things you have to see physician have reviewed any uh, prior external notes then whether the physician have reviewed the result of test whether the physician have ordered for any new test or is there any independent historian or did the physician have discussed the management option with another physician all such things you have to consider while taking this data table okay so here I, again i am telling this is just a summary only the detailed explanation is in the website if you want that you can go and watch that okay so here you identify if any of such things are mentioned so here it is given as in the i have highlighted it reviewing his blood report which means reviewing his previous blood test okay so reviewing of the results is given uh, then also ordering of one test is also given ordered hba1c blood test okay so two things reviewing of blood report as well as ordering of another blood test is mentioned okay now you go to the data table and you identify these two points comes under which section of a data table whether it comes under minimal or none or limited or moderate or high okay so in the limited category 1 limited we have category 1 as well as category 2 uh, and in order to meet the criteria of limited it is given below the limited as must meet the requirements of at least one of the two categories so either category 1 need to be satisfied or category 2 needs to be satisfied okay so in the category 1 it is given any combination of two okay there are three things of which at least if two is satisfied means you can take it as category one what all are the review of prior external notes review of result of each test ordering of each test so of which reviewing of the uh, test as well as ordering of the test is given here so two is okay means you can take it as category one which means in the data table you get as low okay take the book read that section carefully and then you will understand okay since two points data table uh, reviewing of blood report as well as ordering of blood test is done you can take it as limited data table as limited so in the problem table you got it as limited data table as also you got it as limited so when two of the three elements are same means you can take that particular level so which is the level it is low medical decision making is low complexity okay then you need to identify if it is a new patient or as established patient since so in, since it is mentioned here that the mark visit, visited his primary position for regular checkup means uh, this is his primary physician and uh, visiting him for regular checkup means uh, mark is frequently visiting him right in that case it is not a new patient it is established patient okay so you have to give so here i have already mentioned that one stable chronic illness comes under low then category one limited category one any combination of two that also i have given here okay so new pa uh, sorry established patient with the low mdm is double nine two one three similarly next question chief complaint is shortness of breath History, a 67-year-old female returns to a family practice having shortness of breath for the last week. It has been two years since her last visit to the practice. She also has nausea, diaphoresis, chest pressure, hysterectomy one year ago. So, you identify what all are the complaints or problems made by the patient. She is having shortness of breath 
and uh, she is also having some additional complaints nausea diaphoresis chest pressure etc okay then it is given as the patient is having an uh, penicillin allergy then physical examination part is given as a paragraph but as i have already explained previously we have importance for examination but currently we don't have importance for examination part we have importance only for medical decision making part mdm part okay so you just skip that examination part then investigation ekg is ordered then what is the final assessment severe exacerbation of congestive heart failure patient is sent to hospital to be admitted and orders to start her on iv order chest x-ray as well as cbc okay so i have whatever points we need so go and take your mdm table in the problem table first identify what all are the problems and see these problems come under which section so we have many minor problems like shortness of breath nausea diaphoresis chest pressure and the final diagnosis for these uh, complaints are severe exacerbation of congestive heart failure right so all these minor problems um, two or more minor problem comes under low low category but severe exacerbation of congestive heart failure means congestive heart failure is a chronic condition and the severe exacerbation of chronic condition comes under which section it comes under high high in high you have one or more chronic illness with the severe exacerbation so here patient is having one chronic illness congestive heart failure Uh, which have severe exacerbation okay so you got low as well as high in the problem table itself in such case you have to take the greater severity okay the greater priority one is high okay if you got low and moderate in the problem table means you have to consider moderate if you got moderate and high in the problem table in the same table itself means you have to consider high similarly here you have many minor problem which comes under low but the final diagnosis is severe examination of congestive heart failure which comes under high so you need you need to consider high so in the problem table we got high next moving on to data table so i have already told you what all things to consider while taking data table if there is reviewing of a prior external notes reviewing of the test result ordering of the test result then independent historian then physician discuss the treatment or um, test result with another physician all comes under data point okay so here the physician have ordered ekg then physician have ordered chest x ray physician have ordered cbc so the physician have ordered for three tests means it comes under which so in moderate and uh, high you have two uh, three categories category 1 2 and 3 okay and what is the category 1 any combination of three from the following and uh, we have given four points there review of prior notes review of the results of test ordering of test then independent historian so any three from the following is considered um, is done means you can take it as category 1 is satisfied okay so ordering of each unit test means each ordering of each test got one point so in this question they have ordered three test means we have got three points okay so if you got three points means that category 1 is considered okay so in moderate as well as high category 1 is considered but should we take moderate or high in moderate below the heading it is given must meet the requirements of at least one out of three categories which means at least if one at least one category is cry, uh, met means you can take this um, it as moderate okay but if more than one if two or three is met means you have to take it as high hope the point is clear what is the difference between moderate and high in moderate you need to satisfy only one category of the category 1 2 3 but in high you need to satisfy at least two categories of the category 1 2 3 in this question only category 1 is satisfied because three tests are ordered okay so you can't take it as high you can take it only as moderate okay so in the problem table you got high data table you got moderate means we need to consider the risk table so what all things you have to identify the risk table risk table is the third element so this risk of complications and or or morbidity of mortality of patient management what all are considered in this 
table means what the what are the management option that the physician have taken like prescription of drugs or uh, uh, decision for hospitalization or decision regarding minor surgery or uh, elective major surgery or emergency surgery uh, or a dnr status all such things comes under this table okay so in this question it is given as patient is sent to be sent to hospital to be admitted means it is the decision for hospitalization and decision for hospitalization comes under high risk of the risk table okay therefore you got high in risk table also so problem table you got high data table you got moderate risk table you got high since two elements of the three are high means we can take it as high level of uh, complexity high level mdm okay then new or established it is given in the second line as it has been two years since her last visit to the practice so when can we take it as an established patient the physician uh, the patient have seen the same patient physician or the same specialty physician in the last three years means we can take it as established patient since this patient have seen the same physician in the last two years you can take it as established so established with the high mdm the code is double nine two one five next question a 57 year old established male patient present to hospital to visit his physician due to swollen ankle loss of appetite insomnia blood in urine shortness of breath he had the symptoms in six months but last week onward these symptoms get increases as a known case of diabetes mellitus or dm physician order him to take cbc lft rft and gfr after result came he diagnosed with a stage 2 ckd code for e and m service so i'm highlighting the points so take your mdm table first come to the problem table portion what all are the problems the patient is complaining of swollen ankle, loss of appetite, insomnia, sleeplessness, blood in urine, shortness of breath. Okay, these are many minor problems the patient is having. Okay, and we have a diagnosis for this minor problem. After investigation, it is concluded as stage 2 chronic kidney disease. Okay, so no need to consider the minor problem. Take the stage 2 CKD. So, stage 2 CKD is a chronic condition. Okay, also... Diabetes mellitus, DM. Here's a known case of DM means diabetes mellitus. So we got two chronic conditions. So two table chronic illness means it comes under moderate of the problem table. Okay. So in problem table you got moderate. Then come to data table. Physician have ordered for four tests: CBC, LFT, RFT, and GFR. Okay. So ordering of four tests comes under which section? Again, the same as previous question, category 1 of moderate as well as high, but we cannot take high. For taking high, you need to um, satisfy at least two of the three categories. Okay, but here only category 1 is satisfied, so you can take it as moderate only. Okay, so you got the answer because problem table you got it as moderate. The uh, data table also you got it as moderate means you can take the MDM as moderate. Okay, and it is given in the question as established patient. So, the code for established with the moderate MDM double nine two one. So, these are some practice questions where the MDM is not directly given and we need to find out it from the MDM table. I have given around 20-21 questions uh, with like this explanation in the website along with the detailed explanation of each components of the uh, MDM table. So, if you are interested, you can go to the website link and buy that. Thank you.